Hey everyone, and welcome back to my home. I'm Jason Chappelle, your friendly host. Um, I just received yet another Blue Apron package, so I thought I would unbox it with you guys. Um, I have replaced the light in my kitchen with a daylight light, so it looks a little bright in here. Might have to figure out a way to unbox things without the light being right there, but this this looks like a good view. Anyways, today's unboxing includes uh, seared steak with garlic mashed potatoes and sauteed broccoli. Ooh. I love me some steak. There is a Marsala Spice Chicken with kale and lime rice. Yet another lime dish, or well, lime and rice dish, actually. So check that out. All right. And finally, we have seared biramundi with collard greens, for something, <laughs> and chagrit chalet. Agridolce. Take a look at that one. So that's the second word is the word I was having trouble with. So yeah, I don't know. Anyways, um, last time I got this nifty little Turkey's Survivor wine guide, and today it looks like I've got a nifty little tips for the, from the test kitchen, how to roast vegetables. So, different ingredients, different flavors. So, we'll take a look at that later. Um, there is also a, a very merry home-cooked holiday, uh, 2016 Blue Apron gift guide. Um, Looks like I've got $25 worth of coupons according to this on the front page. Uh, everything from knives to bowls to cookbooks. Um, oh, wine set for $124.99. Includes four glasses, a corkscrew, and a month subscription to the wine club which is also part of the Blue Apron. So maybe it's got some Blue Apron-y wine-related stuff. Anyways, um, different things, different catalogs. So I don't know if that even saw the picture. Anyways, nifty little refrigeration bag like last time. We're gonna pause that for a sec. You think I would learn to pause the video while I open the exceptionally loud bag? Um, kale? I love me some kale. Like, I just started eating it a couple of years ago. Yeah, I, I saw it on the Food Network and have just loved it ever since then. Collard greens. I've never had collard greens. But again, it's, it's a very versatile ingredient. Looks like broccoli for the mashed potato broccoli steak meal. Tomato sauce for one of the dishes. Probably the burramundi. Let's look real fast. I think it's the burramundi because tomato sauce and burramundi are. Italian, but no, surprisingly enough, it's not for that dish. <laughs> I just went cross-eyed. Uh, that's funny. Let's see. The knickknacks. Um, turns out I opened these little knickknacks when I made my meals the last time, and it's just it's all the little ingredients like the the chili flake and the salt and pepper and you know other miscellaneous things. Seared steak knickknacks, probably. I got it there. Oh, creme fresh. In there. Uh, our solid knickknacks. This is 
the Fergoia pasta. So, not like anything I've ever seen before. So, should be interesting to try. Um, it's funny that these meals, they're, even though it says that they're for serving size of two, I tend to eat a lot to begin with. So, for me, it's like the perfect one meal. So, it is what it is. Um, lemon and lime. Potato. And then, of course, the nifty little proteins. A little happy cooking separator. The ice pack. And a thing of garlic, which somehow got underneath with the proteins. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. It's like... It's a normal size steak for two people. I normally eat one of these by myself. And it's a New York strip. It says use within seven days or freeze. Definitely gonna be using it. Love me some steak. Um, got some chicken. Different kind of chicken than last time, but it looks like a nice, nice piece. About the same size as the steak, which According to this, the steak is 12 ounces, and the chicken is, I don't know what size the chicken is. Oh well. And then the fish, which again, I've never seen a burramundi, so that is it. Sourced substantially from our family of trusted fisheries. Barramundi is a premium variety of sea bass uh, from the Pacific Northwest, or Western Pacific, excuse me, uh, beloved by chefs all over the world, uh, prized its sweet, buttery flavor, and delicate, flaky texture. Um, its hearty fillets are perfect for any number of preparations for baking to grilling and searing. So, I'm going to be freely admitting to you guys, I do not like seafood. Um, ask anybody at work when they do samplings of seafood. I start, stay like clear away. So, um, anyways, that's this particular package. I'll get it or unboxed, you know, take a couple pictures like I did last time and put it in the fridge and we'll go from there. Catch in a bit.